Everybody hit the like button, y'all. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button. What's up, y'all? Everybody say what's up in the comments. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what city you are from. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. What's going on, y'all? This is Mr. Let Go, and we are about to uncover some secret information about why women are loser choosers, why women are pookie pickers. So we're going to talk about the loser choosers and the pookie pickers tonight. Everybody hit the like button. Let me check these likes. Let me, uh, everybody hit the like button because I know the likes looking crazy. So make sure to hit the like button and we're going to get started. I got some videos <laughs> that are going to be hilarious, but this young man that I found on TikTok is telling the absolute truth. And sometimes my delivery may be, um, you know, something that a lot of you may not be able to respond to or to take it in. So I'm going to play this particular video and hopefully him saying what I've been saying for the longest may actually help you out. So like I said, hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. So let me check these likes and we can get started. Let me check these likes real quick. Everybody hit the like button. I'm about to check to see if y'all are hitting the like button. Everybody hit the like button. All right, let me see. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? All right, come on, y'all. We need 100 more likes. We need about 100 more likes. We need 100 more likes. Everybody take a second and hit the like button. Okay. And just before we get started, if any of you are on YouTube or on Instagram or on TikTok or on Facebook and you want to learn how to make money on Facebook, I made like what? $5,000 on Facebook. What? In the last four days. So if anybody wants to learn how to make money on Facebook, thank you, Terika. Make money on YouTube. We all know, you know, you make money on YouTube, but some of y'all, you don't know how much money you can actually make on Facebook. So if you want me to show you how to do that, because there's, there's a few things that you have to know how to do in order to make money on Facebook, YouTube is actually easier than Facebook. But imagine having YouTube, you can pay for YouTube, you can pay for Facebook. You can pay, you can actually get paid double the same video that you post on YouTube, you can turn around and post it on Facebook and make double the money off of one freaking video. So if you want to learn how to do that, go to the link that is linked in the top of this chat. It says, join my coaching group. I have a YouTube growth coaching group, but it's not just about YouTube. It's about all platforms. Training New Jersey in the, in the building. Okay. I like all your videos. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. So the reason why I'm doing this video is because there's a issue going on that's been going on for a while. And I've talked about this plenty of times. I actually <laughs> did a video yesterday uh, about how animals to a certain degree are smarter than women due to the fact that only women are the only females on this entire planet 
the only females on this entire planet that deliberately chooses to be with losers and have babies with losers are human women. No other female on the planet does this stupid mess. So I did that, but I found this video that will confirm what I said yesterday because a lot of y'all was mad about <laughs> what I said. But, you know, I don't care. But this is something that might help you out also. So everybody hit the like button. We need 100 likes. 100 of you have not hit the like button. So hit the like button and let's get to it. I think I got it. Hit the like button, y'all. I think I got it now. I think I got it. So ladies, y'all so used to dealing with and dating trash dudes. Y'all don't have to face y'all flaws because y'all used to being the best one in a relationship. Y'all used to uh -oh. carrying that dude on your back, right? Uh-oh. Ladies, y'all... So I think I got it now. I think I got it. So ladies, y'all so used to dealing with and dating trash dudes. Y'all don't have to face y'all flaws because y'all used to being the best one in a relationship. Y'all used to carrying that dude on your back, right? So he says, the reason why women date bums is so they can feel good about themselves. See, sadly, you ladies love to run around calling men narcissistic, right? So it's like, you get with a man that challenges you, you get with a man that actually uh, wants better for you, wants better for himself, therefore he wants better for you. And in order, in order to keep that man from leaving you, to a certain degree, because I think that's the biggest thing about this whole thing, to keep a man from leaving you. A bum can't leave you. We're going to talk about that for a second. But a good man is going to see certain things and be like, I ain't got time for this shit. You're either going to fix your stuff, take your ass to therapy, do this, do that, or... We out. But in all honesty, you are okay with being out because you don't want to change. So you get with a real good dude. You're going to have all kinds of fears of abandonment. And when you get to the point in your life where you start, you know, say, say you're dating a guy, right? You're, you're dating a loser. You feel good about yourself. But say you date a guy that's that's bringing you up and then he's slowly bringing you up, slowly bringing you up. And y'all are good. At some point, due to your unhealed trauma, you're going to reach the ceiling. And you're going to start beating your head against the ceiling and you can go through the ceiling, but you've never been through the ceiling before. You've never felt a certain way before you've never felt challenged to the point where it's like going up in a plane and you're like 13,000 feet in the air. Well, 30,000 feet in the air feels different than 13,000 feet in the air. <clears throat> so some of you have excelled to a certain point, but you've never excelled to this point. And when you get to this point way up here, it scares the hell out of you. And then you're like, I got to go. Take me down. Take me down. I'm going too high. I'm going too high. I got to go. I got to go. So some of you ladies, to deal with your own abandonment issues, you actually leave first. To deal with your own abandonment issues, because you already know at some point, if you don't get your shit together, this dude is going to leave you. Because you know you more than anybody else. So you start looking at your own life like, okay, am I going to be able to keep up with this guy? I got a ceiling that I'm scared to, to go. And at some point, he's going to bust through the ceiling and I'm not. And he's going to leave me. So because of that, there's some part of me that isn't going to go too high because I don't truly believe in myself, I'm going to just leave. 
So the opposite of that is being with a pookie. You get with a loser man. You get with a bum. You never have to worry about that bum pushing you and challenging you to be better. See, you'll be being the person that is challenging him to be better. So it's not about, say, so say you got this ceiling. You've never went, went past this ceiling emotionally or, or anything. The bum is way down here. Now, since the bum is way down here, you can yell at the bum, hey, get your life together. Do this, do that. Let me fix you. And now you're fixing the bum and he's, you're bringing him up to your point. And now y'all are happy. And the problem is, and the solution to this problem also is, you're going to be happy because this bum is never going to leave you. See, the biggest issue with the typical traumatized woman is abandonment. She doesn't want to get to the point in her life where she gets dropped out of that plane because she don't got way, she don't went way too high. And she when she's so high, she turns around and starts spazzing out. And the dude just pushes out, all right, get out of here. And the fall is so far. But being with a loser, the loser ain't never gonna leave. And if it does end, you don't have that far to fall because you just falling from here. So let's keep going with this video. So the, 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 the moral of all of this is abandonment issues. Listen again. I think I got it now. I think I got it. So ladies, y'all so used to dealing with and dating trash dudes. Y'all don't have to face y'all flaws because y'all used to being the best one in a relationship. Y'all used to carrying that dude on your back, right? See, the second you face your flaws, an apex male is going to be like, whoa, okay, that was unusual. That was scary. What are we going to do about that? See, the second... Hold on, I'm about to make a video. What happened with Joe Button, uh, Balance? I, mi I missed out. What happened with Joe Button? Drop it in the group. And just for y'all, just so y'all know, Balance is in my YouTube coaching group. And if you want to learn more about how to grow on YouTube, um, government agent got that fake. Okay, whatever. Balance is in my coaching group. And if you want to join my um, YouTube growth coaching group, make sure to hit the link at the top. Balance just said something about Joe Button. So we about to go in the group chat when I get off the show and we're going to find out what's going on with this whole Joe Button stuff. And guess what? We're going to make content out of it. So if you want to learn how to be a content creator and actually make money off of YouTube, make sure to join the group by hitting the link in the chat. Oh, call 777. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Fathers, cover your daughters in vetting a man for marriage in effort to preserve their virtues. He literally just said he takes oh oh. Oh, okay. Put it in put it in a group chat oh, balance so I can see it. Put it in a group chat balance. And don't tell them. God, that's crazy. All right, y'all. We need 200. I mean, we need 150 likes. Thank y'all for already hitting the like button. We need 200 likes. We need 200 likes. 200 of you have not hit the like button. Please take a second to hit the like button. The likes are down. We need 200 likes. Come on, everybody, start hitting the like button. Because if not, I'm going to have to go to a commercial. So, listen. I think I got it. So, ladies, y'all so used to dealing with and dating trash dudes... Y'all don't have to face y'all flaws because y'all used to being the best one in a relationship. Y'all used to carrying that dude on your back, right? So when a dude actually cares about you and wants you to better yourself, you start to question if you enough. Hold on. Uh-oh. 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 When a man actually 
starts moving in the direction that you always wanted to go. You like, this is everything I always wanted. We're going in a direction that I always wanted to go. But now you like, but I never went that way. I've always went this way. I always went down or straight. I never went up before. Am I enough? Am I enough? Some of you ladies want to get married, want to be with a good man, want all these great things, want to grow. You want to be happy. But guess what? You're so used to being unhappy where you actually don't know how to be happy. Some of you ladies are so used to being unhappy, frustrated, stressed out. And when you finally get an opportunity to be happy, you get anxious. Because you've never in your life been happy. Do you realize the majority of you ladies have never been happy in your entire life? And I'm not saying euphoric because you got a new boo. I'm talking about to a certain point in your life where you're so safe. You're so safe. See, happiness isn't about eating some ice cream or looking at a good movie or getting good sex. Like happiness is really safety. You feel secure. See, a woman in particular, a woman craves security. A woman craves intimacy. So when we say happy, yeah, y'all y'all have dealt with joy before. Y'all dealt with, you know, euphoria. But you've never felt happiness, stability, right? You've never had stability. You never had security. You've never had a, a point in your life where you didn't have to worry about anything. Like not one thing you had to worry about. You don't have to worry about getting your car fixed. You don't have to worry about your car breaking down. You ain't got to worry about uh, uh, your, your kid uh, acting up in school. You've never been in a, in, a, in a position in your life where you had no problems. See, some of y'all, like I said, y'all don't really want to be happy because you don't know how happiness actually feels. You're so anxious. You're so anxious. Will you start feeling happy for a second? You get scared. Because a true unhappy person gets worried when they feel happiness. They get worried when nothing's going wrong. They start looking for something to go wrong. You've ever been to a point, to this high point, you're happy, you got almost everything you ever wanted in a man, in, a, in your life, and you actually <laughs> get scared? You actually get scared. You're like, this is too good to be true. And then you start thinking, well, why me out of all people? Because deep down, your mom, your aunt, other family members, they told you multiple times that you are not enough. Your own mother told you that you weren't enough. So you actually believe that you're not enough. 
enough? I don't know. Y'all just love to say you're not enough. Because you don't know what you're enough for or not enough for. Then you sabotage relationship. Victoria says it right here. Waiting for the other shoe to drop. So the reason why you ladies love being loser choosers and pookie pickers because when you get with an ultimate male, you don't think you can keep up with an ultimate male. You don't think you can keep up with an apex male. See, it's about not being able to keep up. At some point, you're going to feel like I'm not going to be able to keep up with this type of rhythm. I mean, I, r- rhythm, I mean, high vibrational operation. You're so used to being in this low vibrational, in, you know, in this environment. Your mom is, has problems. Your cousins have problems. Your siblings have problems. Your best friends have problems. Your ex-boyfriend's got problems. Your baby daddy's got problems. So you got all these people around you with all these problems. And then a man comes in and says, hey, I got you. You're like, okay, you got me? (laughs) You're right. Because you're like, but what if you don't got me? What if you don't got me? Now what? It's learned behavior. So you spend your whole time waiting on the other shoe to drop. You start thinking about stuff. Maybe he's cheating. Yeah, that's what it is. He's cheating. He's a cheater. I know what he's doing. He's this. And you start looking around like, This can't be true. It has to be something wrong with this guy. And you start wanting to be unhappy. Now, real quick, everybody, take a second. I need everybody watching to hit the like button. The likes are low. We need two, we need about what? 180 likes. Take a second. Thank y'all for coming in. But I need everybody to take a second to hit the like button. Button. If you don't hit the like button, I'm going to have to go to commercial. I don't want to do that. I want to keep, keep going on this video. I got some more videos. But I need y'all to hit the like button first. Everybody hit the like button. It was a, um, a, a, a meme that, that Plies uh, said. Y'all know who Plies is, right? Hold on. Put a one in the chat if y'all know who Plies is. I just want to make sure, and, and, you know. Does everybody know who Plies is? Because I'm from the South. Some of y'all might not know who Plies is. Put a one in the chat if you know who Plies is. I just want to make sure. Put a one in the chat if you know who Plies is. I just want to make sure. Because I don't want to be over y'all head. I'm sure y'all, y'all should know who Plies is, right? Okay, y'all know who Plies is. All right. Somebody said, who is that? Oh, my God. Is a rapper, El- Elma, Alma. Okay, I just want to make sure. He did a song... No, he actually didn't make it do a song. He just said it in a video. He was like, you want to argue? I ain't arguing with you. You mad. I ain't arguing with you. No. Have you ever seen that? (laughs) So this is what a lot of women do. They get with a loser and they can fuss and argue and all this other stuff. You big man. Yeah, ja- uh, Jasmine. You want to argue. I ain't arguing with you. You mad. You big mad. But the reason why y'all be so mad is because you don't think Being happy exists. You don't think there actually is a level of happiness that you actually deserve. Look at you. Look at you. (laughs) 
you mad. <laughs> so when you just look at these women who get with these losers and stay with these losers, it's simply because they're used to getting it out the mud. They're used to like doing everything on their own. And they so they're so used to getting it by themselves and doing everything on their own. What they actually want somebody else to fix and help so she can feel worthy. Because when a woman gets with an apex male, he's going to make her feel unworthy because there's nothing she needs to really do to fix him. And she feels like, okay, so what am I supposed to do? Oh, nothing. You can just sit down. Huh? I need to cook. I need to clean. Nope. Just sit down. I need to fix you. I, I, I'm i good. And you're like, but but what, what do I do? Nothing. And you start getting frustrated. Well, if I'm not doing anything, think about this. If I'm not doing anything, I'm not valuable, which means you're going to leave me. This ain't going to work out. Because at some point, you're going to get tired of me because I'm not doing anything. Because traumatized women are so used to doing, cooking, cleaning, washing, in order to show their worth. But when, like, or even sex. But when a man is like, no, nah, we good. Just, just chill out. You have a plum fit. Because you think, since you're used to dealing with loser men, all men want is sex. All men want is for you to fix them. And you finally get with a man that you don't, that doesn't need as much as you think, or as much as you want a man to need you, you don't know what the hell to do with yourself. So let's go back to the video. <clears throat> I think I got it. So ladies, y'all so used to dealing with and dating trash dudes y'all don't have to face y'all flaws because y'all used to being the best one in a relationship y'all used to carrying that dude on your back right so when a dude actually cares about you and wants you to better yourself you start to question if you enough hold on hold uh -oh. on fellas. i think i got it uh oh so that's why y'all turn down the dudes that already got themselves put together uh oh because when a dude comes to you and he already got his drones put together we force you to work on yourself and you don't like that you don't like that. Because you so used to having the upper hand in a relationship. You got to have the upper hand. A dude coming to you put together, he's making you work on yourself and you don't like that. I get it now. I got it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I got it now. Okay. I got, got it. See, ladies, you're used to having the upper hand. <clears throat> you are used to having the upper hand. You're so used to being in control. Well, you don't know what to do with yourself. Everybody hit the like button. 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 You're so used to having your whole family on your back. You're so used to having your whole family on your back. You want to be the matriarch of your family like your grandmother was. You want to be the matriarch of your family like your grandmother was. You want to put everybody on your back. You want to feel needed by all these dumb people. So then you get with a man that doesn't need you. You don't know what to do with yourself. And all of a sudden, you want to argue. I ain't arguing with you. You mad. I ain't arguing with you. No. Look at you. Look at you. You mad. Look at you. Look at you. See, being angry, being confrontational, being anxious, being worried, being argumentative, 
being triggered is who you actually are used to being. But when a man said, hey, there's nothing to be mad at. There's nothing to be scared of. There's no triggers. Everything's good. You sitting around like, but I'm not used to this. I'm not, I, I, don't, I don't, I'm not used to this. So we're not going to argue? Nope. We're not going to fuss? Nope. You're not going to leave? Nope. You're not going to cheat on me? Nope. You start looking around like, every man cheats. Every man leaves. Every man does this. What do you mean you're not going to do this? You, what do you mean you're not going to do that? Because I don't want to. But every man wants to do this and do that. Every man cheats. I don't want to. But I don't understand. You don't have to understand. And she literally wants to argue every point that comes out your mouth. Why? Because she used to the pookies. See, once, fellas, let me tell y'all something. When a woman starts an argument with you, what she's trying to do is get you to argue back with her. Why? Because that's her comfort zone. That's what she's used to doing. She's used to arguing with women at work. You ever had a chick come home and every time you talk to her, she's talking about somebody that, that don't, don't eat up, don't ate her food at lunch. I mean, don't ate her food in the break room. She don't like Sheila. She don't like Tasha. She don't like Cynthia. Cynthia be hating on her. They are so used to arguing and going back and forth and, and being confrontational and talking behind each other's back. When they get home and you got peace for her and she ain't got to do nothing, she doesn't know what to do with herself. And real quick, y'all, we need to get some cash apps going or some super chats going. So I need two things out of you. I need you to hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button. And the second thing is I need y'all to be contributing to the channel. Like, what, what, what are we doing? Cash app is Aaron 1000. Uh, act like um, it's, a, it's you, you, you've ever heard of cash app before. Cash app is Aaron 1000. Okay, if you broke, drop a $2 super chat. Do, so, do something. Sheila, Tasha, uh, <laughs> Sheila, Tasha, uh, and, uh, Cynthia, and Crystal. You know, Crystal be at work acting up too. Because misery loves company. Exactly. So you'll get with a pookie. You'll stay with a pookie. Because he's miserable. Because... He complains about the white man. See, let me tell y'all something about, about loser men. Black men, loser black men in particular, are the black women of our society. I'll say this again. Black men, loser black men, are the black women of our society. Black women, they go to the hair salon and sit around arguing or either gossiping or either complaining to other women. But loser men, they go to the barbershop arguing about basketball. Can barely, uh, can barely afford his haircut and complaining about women and complaining about the white man. So you got women over here complaining about men and you got men over here complaining about the white man. <clears throat> black men, not all, black men are the black women of our society. So while black women are running around complaining about black men, Black men are running around complaining about the white man.
And the reason why this is important is because when that loser black man gets with a loser black woman, they sit around complaining together. But when you got a good man, he don't want to hear that shit. You get with a good man, he don't want to hear that shit. You come in there with all this art, you're like, yo. Well, like, you, you, you can leave back out the door with all that shit. What is wrong with you? So let's keep going on. Uh, some of y'all didn't watch, didn't see the video. One more time. And now. And I'm, we're going to go to the next video after this. Y'all hit the like button, drop a cash app, or drop some uh, 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 a super chat. I think I got it. So, ladies, y'all so used to dealing with and dating trash dudes. And I'm let y'all know, if we don't get any contributions, I'm just going to be out. So we need contributions. We need at least five contributions via Cash App or via Super Chat. Cash App is Aaron 1000. Let, let's get it. Act like you've been here before. Got it now. I think I got it. So, ladies, y'all so used to dealing with and dating trash dudes. Y'all don't have to face y'all flaws because y'all used to being the best one in a relationship. Y'all used to carrying that dude on your back, right? So when a dude actually cares about you and wants you to better yourself, you start to question if you enough. Hold on. Hold on, fellas. I think I got it. So that's why y'all turn down the dudes that already got themselves put together. Cause because we don't need fixing. We don't need fixing, ladies. You don't know what to do with yourself when your man doesn't need fixing. You don't know what to do. You start beating your hand against the wall. What do you mean you don't need me to fix you? Uh, I don't need you to fix me. I need you to support me, but I don't need you to fix me. That's not enough for a traumatized woman. <clears throat> when a dude comes to you and he already got his drones put together, we force you to work on yourself and you don't like that. See, when you get to that point where you look at him this way, look at him that way, and you're like, okay, I don't see any big issues that I can fix. And you start getting upset because you're like, if you... Thank you, uh, the unofficial wife, TM. I appreciate the super chat. You start thinking like, you don't need me. So why am I here? And the man is like, well, what I need is for you to work on yourself. Get your little ass in the gym. Get your little ass some therapy. Stop eating dumb shit. Stop drinking. Stop hollering at your kids or your kid or whatever. Work out your issues with your mom. Appreciate you, J-Dub. Work out issues with your mom. And fix your own shit. She don't want to do that. She doesn't want to do that. See, the loser, the pookie, because she's a pookie picker or a loser chooser, the pookie doesn't necessarily challenge women. The women challenge him. See, pookies are used to being fixed. Pookies are used to having a life where they're mothered by their women. But when they get with a man that doesn't need all this stuff, she literally doesn't know what the hell to do. Because you so used to having the upper hand in a relationship. You got to have the upper hand. 
a dude coming to you put together, he's making you work on yourself and you don't like that. I get it now. I got it. Uh, I got it now. Okay. Number one, how do we feel about him? Go. I don't like. All right. Check this out. Now we're about to talk about the mindset of the typical loser chooser and pookie picker. All right, thank y'all for hitting the like button. Keep hitting the like button. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. Keep hitting the like button, y'all. Keep hitting the like button. Keep hitting the like button. Why y'all hit the like button? Let me read these super, let me read these cash apps real quick. Keep hitting the like button. I'm gonna read the cash apps. Uh thank you, Abe, for the cash app. Sharita, Sarita, Sarita, thank you for the cash app. And thank you, Kent, for the cash app. I appreciate y'all. Cash app is Aaron1000 and drop a super chat in the chat. Put some color behind your words. If you want me to read your your uh your message, put it in the chat. Put some color behind it. I'm sorry. So now we're going to go into the mind of a pookie picker. This is a pookie picker. Shout out to the pookie picker. Let's go. Okay, guys, we all know why we're here. Fuck boy number one. How do we feel about him? Go. I don't like him. I don't like him. I said from the very beginning he was going to use us. This was going to end badly. I'm always right. What? I really like him. And I think he really likes me too. He's so nice. <laughs> Shit. Shit, we got a red flag, red flag. See, look at that, look at that, red flag. what I tell you? what I tell you? He's using us. Okay, all right, let's hear it. What do we got? Okay, red flag. So he cannot take you out to dinner at six because he's busy, but he said he can still come over at 11.30 tonight. See, he wants to spend time with us. It's a good thing. I mean, I don't see how this is a bad thing. Well, ultimately it's your decision, so. I <laughs> see we text him. Hey, are you dumb? How is it that I talk to you every day? All I want to do is you and we have mad sexual chemistry and i want to be your best friend but also you a boy and a whore and i hate you but i still want to fuck you and cuddle up with you and be your best friend and be your wife i'm confused you're not confused you're traumatized you're traumatized see you spend so much time trying to look for a man to mask your childhood trauma. You spend a lot of time looking for a man to mask your childhood trauma. You know, you want to know why women clean when they get upset? The reason why women clean when they get upset is because being busy is another way to mask her childhood trauma. Hit the like button, y'all. Hit the like button. Hit, hit the like button. See, being in a relationship with a pookie helps her mask her childhood trauma. Being with a pookie is just like smoking weed, eating, eating a whole tub of ice cream. All of these things are coping mechanisms. But do you know a coping mechanism is, doing, is going to a gym? But you don't want to go to a gym. Going to the gym goes against everything you believe in. Because your mom actually taught you how to be fat. So going to the gym literally goes against everything your mom taught you. Your mom didn't go to the gym. Your auntie didn't go to the gym. Your grandmother didn't go to the gym. Your cousins didn't go to the gym. None of the women in your family ever went to the gym. So how do you look like going to a gym? So you get in a position where you run to your familiarity. Familiarity is the biggest issue. So I want to give y'all something to think about real quick. I, I, I did this video a while. I said, 
Uh, traumatized women are like rodents. So think about this. Traumatized women are like rodents. And I'm going to give y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm going to explain this real quick for those who didn't see that video. Hit the like button, y'all. Traumatized women are like rodents. A rodent will run close to every wall in order to feel safe, right? You'll see, if you see a mouse, the mouse, if you ever see a mouse in your room or in your house, what is the mouse going to be? The mouse is going to be right up against the wall. It's going to run up against the wall. Why? Because that's, that's what makes it feel safe. A rodent will run close to every wall in order to feel safe as possible as they scurry around. Women do the same thing, but they don't run close to a wall. They stay close to their coping mechanism. So just like a mouse scurries across the room close to the wall every single time in order to feel safe, they need to have that wall running up against their skin in order to feel like they're safe. But a woman isn't running up against a wall to make her feel safe. A woman runs up against a pookie. A woman needs a loser in her life in order to make her feel safe. See, it's her innate need to feel smart and better than other people around her. So like I said, a rodent will run across the wall, this wall, and then turn this wall, and then turn this. They won't run in, in the middle of the floor because that's where the danger is. They're just going to run across the wall. But to women, the wall is a pookie. They don't stray too far away from a loser man that will make them feel smart. To a woman, the wall is a pookie. They don't stray too far away from a loser man that will make them feel smart. This also goes for a woman's dumb friends. Virtually every one of you have stupid friends. And there's a reason why you have stupid friends. Because your stupid friends are your wall. Because as long as you got your little stupid friends and they're dumb and they got man problems, you feel better about yourself. So just like a mouse scurries across the wall to keep his, his, his side to the wall, to make itself feel safe, you scurry around with your little dumb female friends. You ever wonder why all your friends are stupid? Because you need somebody to make you feel smart. So you get around ugly women and uh, uh, overweight women and dumb women in order to feel good about yourself. But the same thing goes for men. So you choose dumb, stupid women to be around for the same reason why you choose dumb, stupid men to be around. They serve the same purpose. Does that make sense? So the same reason why you're dating loser men is the same reason why you are around loser women or ugly women, or dumb women, or stupid women, or anxious women. You ever wonder why almost every woman out here has stupid friends? It's their innate need to feel smart and better than other people around them. So the reason why you choose loser men over apex males it's because the apex male, you don't feel better than. You don't feel better than the apex male. So you never second guess 
yourself or your worth when you're with a loser male, just like you never second guess your level of worth when you're with your stupid friends. Because everybody around you makes you feel smart. But the second you get with a man that is smarter than you, you scurry off like a little rat. See, when you're with an apex male, he's going to require you to go to the gym, to go get therapy, to stop drinking, to stop eating slave food. And you can act like a child all you want around a pookie. But a real nigga is going to require that you better yourself. See, a, a pookie can deal with all of the stupid shit that you love to do. All your little stupid tendencies. All of your childish uh, uh, antics. You have a lot of childish ways about you and Pookie accepts it. An apex male is not going to accept it. And you already know if this man isn't accepting this or this, there's about seven other things about you that he hasn't seen before. He's not going to accept those either. And he's going to force you to either get your shit together or get the hell out of his house. Like I said, you can act like a child all you want to around a pookie. But you get around a real nigga, he's going to tell you to sit your goddamn ass down somewhere. And you don't think anything is wrong with what you're doing. You've been totally okay with surrounding yourself with low vibrational men for the last 10 to 12 freaking years. Some of you got, <laughs> some of you have gotten into bad relationships just to confirm what you already think about men. And none of this is about sex. You know, women like, she was digmatized. No, she wasn't. She was with somebody stupid. Do you think dumb men are the only ones with great sex? So you never hear about a woman who's digmatized by a smart man, a good man. The only time you ever hear, hear a woman say she's digmatized is always by a dumb, stupid man. Why? Because it's not about the dick. It's about the dumb we all are men. Some of us has bigger, smaller. But do you actually think God gave only the stupid, dumb men great sex? No. Everybody has different sex. Just like all y'all have different sex. So when a woman says she was dick, like, no, you wasn't. That man made you feel smarter than him. Your friends make you feel smarter than them. Your whole family makes you feel smarter than them. It's about up here, not down here. Go back to this video. So you grown ass women just run around doing the most idiotic shit thinking it's, it's cute. Here we go. Okay guys, we all know why we're here. Fuck boy number one, how do we feel about him? Go. I don't like him, I don't like him. I said from the very beginning he was gonna use us, this was gonna end badly, I'm always right. What? I really like him and I think he really likes me too. He's so nice. <laughs> shit, shit, we got a red flag, red flag. See, look at that, look at that, red flag. what I tell you? what I tell you? He's using us. Okay, all right, let's hear it, what do we got? Okay, red flag. So he cannot take you out to dinner at 6 because he's busy, but he said he can still come over at 11.30 tonight. See, he wants to spend time with us. It's a good thing. 
I mean, I don't see how this is a bad thing. Well, ultimately it's your decision, so. I <laughs> see we text him. Hey, are you dumb? Uh, Y'all so used to dealing with and dating. Day, all I want to do is fuck you and we have mad sexual. How is it that I talk to you every day? All I want to do is fuck you and we have mad sexual chemistry and I want to be your best friend, but also you a boy and a whore and I hate you. But I still want to fuck you and cuddle up with you and be your best friend and be your wife. I'm confused. Now, I think I got it. So, ladies, y'all so used to dealing with and dating trash dudes. Y'all don't have to face y'all flaws because y'all used to being the best one in a relationship. Y'all used to carrying that dude on your back, right? So when a dude actually cares about you and wants you to better yourself, you start to question if you enough. Hold on. Hold on, fellas. I think I got it. So that's why y'all turn down the dudes that already got themselves put together. Because when a dude comes to you and he already got his drones put together, we force you to work on yourself and you don't like that. Because you so used to having the upper hand in a relationship. You got to have the upper hand. A dude coming to you put together, he's making you work on yourself and you don't like that. I get it now. I got it. Uh, I got it now. Okay. So if anybody wants to come up and discuss this, hit the, uh, the link in the chat. If anybody wants to come up and discuss this, hit the link in the chat. Hit the StreamYard link in the chat. And if anybody wants to learn how to grow on YouTube and Facebook and TikTok and Instagram, make sure to hit the link that is pinned in the chat in blue. So there's two links in the chat right now. It's a StreamYard link where you can come up and join the conversation, or there's a link pinned at the top on how to join my content creation coaching group. So women spend a lot of time seeking out sadness, seeking out pain, because that's all they're used to. If you grew up and the only thing you're used to is trauma, sadness, and pain, being happy doesn't even excite you anymore. Because you'd rather be familiar than be happy. Because the truth be told, none of y'all, well, I ain't going to say none of y'all, a lot of you don't even know what happiness actually looks like. Because you spend, spend, spend so much time on social media or either looking at Netflix or the Ozark or whatever. But if you spent an hour a month in therapy instead of looking at Ozark. Instead of getting banged by a pookie. How good or how better would your life be? If you turned around and got some therapy and bettered yourself. Imagine where you would be emotionally. And let me do this. And I'm about to pin this new link in the comments right here, right here. This link right here is to my course. Buy my course is only $9.99. I need at least 200 of you to click the link and buy my course. It's only $9.99. I need at least 200 of you right now hit the link that I just pinned in the chat that says buy my emotional attachment course is only $9.99. Everybody in here, buy the emotional attachment course right now. It's only $9.99. Because the truth is, 
the majority of you are not going to go to the gym. The majority of you are not going to go to get therapy. But you can click the link. All right, CJ, CJ Wilkins says, uh, the course has what information? <clears throat> the course is only $9.99. And the course will help you, one, identify your dysfunctional attachment style. There are four attachment styles. You got oxytocin, you got dopamine, you got endorphins, and you got serotonin, right? And I'm sorry, <laughs> what I'm talking about. You have four attachment styles. I'm sorry. The four attachment styles are anxious, disorganized, avoidant, and secure. Anxious, avoidant, disorganized, and secure. So with that being said, if you don't know what your attachment style is, Put a one in the chat if you know what your attachment style is. Put a one in the chat if you know what your attachment style is. Or put the actual attachment style in the chat if you know. So put a one and then put the, the attachment style you actually are. The four attachment styles are anxious, avoidant, disorganized, or secure. If you know what your attachment style is, put a one and put the name of the attachment style that you, you say you are. Okay, so Shanice says she's avoiding, okay? So make sure to hit the link that is in the chat. Okay, Didi said secure, that's good. All right, so at least y'all have an understanding of what these attachment styles are. So to answer the question, what is this course? It's linked in the chat and it's only nine out of nine. I need, I need 200 of you to buy the course. So gullible is not an attachment style. <laughs> Avoiding is not that I don't agree with you, but you can't put everyone in the same category. <sighs> Didn't I just get, give four categories, Tiffany? What are you talking about? I can't put two people. What are you talking about? I can't put people in the same category. It's four categories, Tiffany. All right, BB Love says she's anxious. Okay, what are you going to do about your dysfunctional attachment style, though? Are you just going to go through life being anxious and being avoidant? Or do you want to change it? So, if you want to, one, find out what attachment style you are by getting a better understanding of them, two, get a foundational way on how to change your attachment style, hit the link that is in the chat. Hit the link that is in the chat. It's pinned in the chat. It's only $9.99. Because like I said, we can sit around and talk about y'all and, and say y'all this or y'all that. But one thing I'm always going to do is offer a solution on how you can fix your own problem. But if you don't, if because it's like this, when we say women are too lazy to go get therapy or men are too lazy to go get therapy, it's not really about laziness. It's about fear. It's about fear. And when you're fearful of learning more about yourself, you don't deserve to be in a relationship. But Carl, you, you say therapy is a must. Yes. But most of these people, men and women, are not going to see nobody's therapist. They're not going to get therapy. This is all women want to do instead of getting therapy. We all know why we're here. Fuck boy number one. How do we feel about him? Okay, guys, we all know why we're here. Fuck boy number one. How do we feel about him? Go. I don't like him. I don't like him. I said from the very beginning he was going to use us. This was going to end badly. I'm always right. What? I really like him. And I think he really likes me too. He's so nice. Shit. 
shit we got a red flag red flag see look at that look at that red flag what i tell you what i tell you he's using us okay all right let's hear it what do we got okay red flag so he cannot take you out to dinner at six because he's busy but he said he can still come over at 11 30 tonight see he wants to spend time with us a good thing i mean i don't see how this is a bad thing well ultimately it's your decision so i <laughs> see we text him hey are you dumb how is it that i talk to you every day all i want to do is fuck you and we have mad sexual chemistry and i want to be your best friend but also you a boy and a whore and i hate you but i still want to fuck you and cuddle up with you and be your best friend and be your wife i'm confused that is what having a negative attachment style is whether you're avoidant anxious or disorganized that is an example of dysfunctional attachment styles and that is what I'm here to help whoever wants to help with. Go hit the link in the chat. It's pinned at the top of the chat or in the comment section. You're going to learn about the anxious attachment style, the disorganized attachment style, the avoidant attachment style, and the secure attachment style. If you are not aware of what your attachment style is, which the course will give you enlightenment on what the actual attachment style you are is. But until you get a better understanding of you, you're going to continue to be just like these other women. Sleeping with random pookies who can't take care of you, who can't do nothing for you. Because at the end of the day, you're scared of an apex male. Cause you think Pookie, see Pookie is never going to leave you. Women stay with a, a Pookie for like 10 years. Ain't married you, he live in your house. He keep losing his job. He may even be doing some drugs, but you don't care. You're just happy you got a man that won't leave you. But why don't you learn how to better yourself so you can get a better man. But the problem is when you get a better man, you gotta be up here in the clouds too. And the rest of you are, are here. So you get a man and he's up here, he's gonna make you feel bad about yourself. Not on purpose, his presence is just gonna make you feel bad about yourself. Everybody hit the like button. So before I go, like I said, I need everybody watching. I need everybody watching to click the link that is pinned in the chat. It says, buy my emotional attachment blueprint course. I need everybody in here. It's only $9.99. Everybody in here. I need everybody to click that link and get the emotional attachment blueprint course. Hey, Stephanie. Hey. How are you? I'm doing very well. How are you? I am doing great. <laughs> well, I'm enjoying your conversation tonight because I really had a problem with this dating. Okay. And um, can you get a playback? Say it again. Can you get a playback? Of sure. With a guy or the girls? Um. No, I'm just saying, can you hear any playback on my... Oh, 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 no, I'm good. You're good. Okay, good. Well, I had a problem with this because I was choosing guys very wrong. I was choosing guys based on superficiality, how they look, um, but they really didn't, you know, match with any values I had. I didn't ask any questions. I just wanted to be able to look good and make me feel good. And it just, in the end, it bit me in the butt. Mm hmm and this person wasn't able to sustain me or if I put, like if I was doing all the work or doing things for them, it was never reciprocated. And so I just- well, got, you know why? Why? Because you don't supposed to be doing all these things for them. <laughs> yeah. And I wait, wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Why are you doing all these things for them in the first place? You said what? Why are you doing all these things for them in the first place? Because, because I thought 
Do you know what these are? Do you know? Because. Do you know what these are? What? Oh, yeah. Headphones? I don't have any. This is called a female plug. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. And this is called a male plug. <laughs> right? Which one of these is a receiver and which one of these is a is the giver? The female plug is the receiver and the this male the receiver, plug is the right? giver. And this is the giver, right? Yes. So which one are you? I am the female. Huh? But at that time, I was the male. Which plug. one are you? The female plug. Which one is the female plug? The receiver. This is a receiver. Yes. Right? So, according to what you said, you were dealing with a man and you kept giving and giving and giving, right? I, I started so to assume the masculine role. role. Yeah. Exactly. But what you don't realize is you did this in the relationship before him. Yes. And in the relationship before that. Yes. So what this means is you are habitually a giver. Yeah. What this means, you are going to habitually attract receivers. Yes. And, and I really totally, yeah. Huh? And I, and I agree with that because I, I got to a point, like you were saying that you're not even experiencing happiness. You don't even know because now know I'm just giving right? and I don't know. And I'm like, well, I'm doing it as a transactional thing. And this guy's not really doing anything for me. And I was getting to I'm just so sad. And I was crying and I was crying to my grandma. I said, you have a really tough thing that takes care of you. My dad takes care of my mom. I don't even know what that feels like. I don't even know what it feels like. So I had to change. I no, had to change. No. I had to you, you haven't, like you said, get you haven't, to know myself. Stephanie, Stephanie, you haven't changed. Um, you don't think so? No, because I'm glad you're here. Yeah. So I don't want to discard that. Yeah. But so I'm I'm glad you're here. So I don't want to so, say I'm not glad you're here. But if you change yourself already, you wouldn't be up here. <laughs> but I, I wanted to say that I did mm -hmm. because, like I said, um, I just know that the results I was getting, I wasn't fulfilled. And plus, that all came from me. So, but like Stephanie, I said, I had to change in order if, to get something else, a different but what is change? What does change look like, Stephanie? What um, change did you make? The change that I made was actually, at one point, I was faithful in the gym and paying attention to myself. And, and, at and, one and, point? Yeah. What do you mean, at one point? Um, when when I really was making the change, I was in the gym. I actually was doing a lot of reading and, like you said, um, looking at what kind of attachment okay, styles you had. Going to the gym, I'm, I'm confused. Who who says I went to the gym? You either are in the gym or you're not. Okay, I, I, I I'm never not go to the gym. the gym. I'm not consistent with the gym. Why? Because I stop right there. Stop right there. Yeah. Just stop right there. <laughs> I want you to I want you to listen to this for a second. Yeah. Just listen. I think I got it. So ladies, y'all so used to dealing with and dating trash dudes. Y'all don't have to face y'all flaws because y'all used to being the best one in a relationship. Y'all used to carrying that dude on your back, right? So right there, you get with a trash dude, he's not gonna have a problem with you not going to the gym. Yeah. So when a dude actually cares about you and wants you to better yourself, you start to yeah, question if you're enough. Hold on. I had let myself on, go. Fellas, I think oh, I got oh, it. Oh. So that's why y'all turn down the dudes that already got themselves put together. Because when a dude comes to you and he already got his drones put together. And he don't been to the gym and he's fit. He don't did everything he need to do. We force you to work on yourself and you don't like that. See... Personally, I'm not dating a woman that don't go to the goddamn gym. Yeah. So you're going to get your ass in the gym, right? Yeah. But if you don't have the muscle memory 
or the habitual fortitude to go to the gym on a normal basis, you're not going to enjoy going to the gym. Yeah, I agree. And you're just going to go to the gym because I'm telling you to go to the gym. Yeah. But that's not going to be it. It's not going to last. Because you're not going to enjoy yourself going to the gym. And then you're not going to be able to eat macaroni and cheese no more. <laughs> Being with me, you can't eat macaroni, macaroni and cheese. I don't like pasta that much. Maybe I like bread. <laughs> I said macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Being with me, you can't eat bread. Okay. Being with me, you can't eat fried foods all the time. Mm -hmm. Being with me, you can't eat ice cream. Yeah. Being with me, you can't have soda in your refrigerator. Do you have soda in your refrigerator right now? No, I have sparkling water. Okay, good. So, and I have so water. being with me, just as an example, do you, do, you, do you think the typical woman would want to do all that shit? Not Say only again? Does she have to go to, do you think the typical black woman mm -hmm. wants to go through all that shit? No. She don't want to give up macaroni and cheese. She don't want to give up eating fried foods all the time. She don't want to have to go to the gym because some man told her to go to the gym. Yeah. She don't want to give up drinking wine all the goddamn time. Mm -hmm. She don't want no man telling her you can't have soda in, in her own refrigerator. How dare you tell me what's in my refrigerator? I, I totally agree with that. It's just like we make an excuse. We're going to fall, fall back on that. I'll, oh, that you just make it smooth. I'm sick. I'm lit. And they just make so many excuses. But there's a lot of other females and like you see the trend, they're just going to other cultures, which is not a bad thing because they're willing to do that. Well, they no, are we're not going to other cultures. There's plenty of women. We're just going to pick those women. There's no other cultures. We're going to pick a woman that is going to do all that shit. Yeah. It's, 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 it's so many women out here. We don't need to go nowhere else. Exactly. The weirdos go to another country looking for a woman. <laughs> Well, I, I think the society like is just enabling all these unhealthy standards to just prevail, and it's not—it's not sustainable. It's not good. It's not good for your health. And so then we complain it? when the men don't want to choose us because we're not. Stephanie, doing it. Stephanie, Stephanie. Yeah. You sit around saying all this stuff, but why your ass can't stay in the gym? Why are you eating all this bullshit? I don't know. Wait, Why do I do it? Stop, stop, Stephanie. You 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 spend a lot of time talking. I want I just I want to I want you to just stop for a second and just breathe. Uh -huh. We can't just sit here and say I don't know. Mm -hmm. We're too old to be saying I don't know. Yeah. Do I look like Derrick Jackson? No. No. But I'm I'm in the gym every goddamn day. I don't want to look like Derrick Jackson. But I want to no. look like the best looking me that I can. Yeah, exactly. But why can't you or don't you want to look like the best looking you than you want to be? I'm lazy. There like you've said Let's so many that. times. That, that's, that, like you said so that. many times. And, I, and, I, yes. and, I, and, and I, you're right. I'm Hello. lazy. I, will, I would admit And that. lazy women overcompensate by being givers. <laughs> Lazy women overcompensate their insecurities by doing. Okay. See, the fine women, the women that go to the gym all the time, they do the doing to themselves by going to the gym. They do the doing to themselves by having a discipline and not sitting around eating ice cream and, and fried foods and all this bullshit. They can be sued. <laughs> So therefore they can receive. Mm -hmm. See, you can't receive when you don't give to yourself. Exactly. And and I truly agree with that because when when like I said at that point when I tried to make that pivot and I was and I hired a trainer because sometimes you just can't do it yourself, you know, and they're gonna push you. 
Why well, do you always got to hire a trainer? Why don't you just get, get in the gym? What about this trainer yeah, stuff? I, I mean, at least I'm trying. Or I did at the time, but when I did, I, I and think, like I said, I, I, I see the results. I think women getting trainers mm -hmm. is an excuse. Because guess really? what? Yes, you get a trainer, oh. and then the trainer don't go to work that day. Oh, okay, I ain't got to work. I ain't got to go to the gym. But the trainer is this and that, or the trainer quit. Oh, my trainer quit. I oh, need a damn trainer. Get in there and pull on some shit. Can you ask? Can you answer this question? Why do black women love to get personal trainers? Why can't you just go in there and pull on some shit? Push on, push on some shit. Um, just another crutch. Now you get what I'm saying. Yeah. You stick other shit in front of you so you can have another excuse not to do something. Yeah, another layer between you actually putting in the work and the discipline. You can't just look at a YouTube video and say how to do planks. You can't yeah. go to a uh, YouTube video, uh, 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 your favorite woman that does stuff, she's going to show you how to do abs, planks, arms, shoulders, chest, legs, butt. Why you need a damn personal trainer? It's just an excuse. Okay. Black women love saying, I got a personal trainer. You know damn well, one, you ain't going to be able to keep up with him, and two, you ain't going to be able to afford him. Yeah. That's so now the you ain't gonna be able to afford him. You go like, you know what? I can't do this. It's too much. And now you have an actual reason why you can't work out because you can't afford a personal trainer. It's all bullshit. Yeah. Get your ass in there and pull on some shit and push on some shit and run on some shit. Yeah. What the hell you need a man to teach you how to run on a damn treadmill? Look yeah. a couple of YouTube videos, learn how to properly do stuff, and then get your ass in the gym. Yeah. And yeah, I'm not, absolutely. I'm just saying, black women are the laziest people on the planet. I said last video, last shot there yesterday, animals don't get fat. Yeah. Why do we humans, why are us humans the only uh, uh, mammals on the planet that have fat females? Yeah. Why are our females fat? Fat lions don't have to deal with fat ass female lions. Wolves don't have to worry about fat ass female wolves. <laughs> giraffes don't have to deal with fat ass female giraffes. Why do we have to deal with fat ass women as humans? Animals don't have to deal with the shit. Why? Just overindulgence. You don't think animals overindulge by hunting some stuff and eating it? Animals eat about 25, female, lions all together, eat about 25 pounds of, of meat a day. They don't eat no vegetables. They just eat meat a day, per day. Do you eat 25 pounds of meat? No. no. So why aren't, why, why aren't they fat? Why? Because they exercise. Yeah. And this is what they I chase said, for their meal. <laughs> this is what I said yesterday. Because this is important. Yes. Black women compared to animals. Which group are more traumatized? Black women or animals? Um, you said they're animals. Animals. They got to deal with nature. They can't even dip their nose in some water in order to drink some water because it's crocodiles in the damn water. Yeah, imagine predator. you thirsty as hell and it's a whole thing full of crocodiles, mm -hmm. and you in there like, like, because if you if if, if you drink too long, a crocodile is gonna eat you, right? Yeah. You gotta fight for your territory as a, a animal. Yes. Because there's other animals running around hunting the same animals you hunting. So one, another animal may take down the animal that you just took down. So you, you take all your energy and, and hunt down and, and take down an animal, right? Kill it and do all this other stuff, right? right. You're happy. Here come 12 hyenas coming to take your shit. Yeah. Now you tired. And you still hungry because they don't took your damn shit. Right? And if you tackle an impala or or uh one of these deer wrong, they got horns. Yeah. 
Yeah. They can jab you in the ribs. Now you got to heal and there's no doctor. Now it's raining and shit. Or now it's, it's, it's cold. Or now it's a drought. There's no fucking water. You know, these little water holes. There's no, there's no water. Yeah, or a fire. Or the forest fire or something. What, what you going to do? See, we have all of these. We, we ain't really as traumatized as you think we are. Yeah. We got the police. We got school. We got all this other shit. We, we inside the house. But if animals are so traumatized, why aren't they doing the stupid shit that women do? Their instinct is drives them away from danger. But our instinct right. is we drives don't you have to danger. Your instinct drives yes. you to danger. Yes, exactly. Right. See, that's why I say animals have more common sense than the women do. And it's sad. I'm sorry, yeah. but it just is what it is. Women, I mean, women don't use their instincts properly. Women yeah. get fatter instead of slimmer. It's, that's stupid. Counterproductive. Yeah. Everybody on the planet knows nobody wants a fat woman. Yeah. But all y'all are fat. Yeah. I'm fat. And then y'all make a sample. Oh, why don't y'all want it? Because we don't. Yeah, that's true. And animals don't even want fat animals. And we got to be, we stuck with all these fat ass women. But how are we not, how are we smarter or more supreme? Than, and, and they ain't doing, run around doing stupid shit. And they eat more than us. So, let me go back to what I was going to say. Animals, because of what type of trauma they got to deal with, how hard it is out in the wild in order to survive, they understand the importance of a strong male to protect them. Because if they don't have a strong male to protect them, they're not going to eat or they're going to get killed. Because yeah. like I said, a female lion, y'all love to say, well, the female lion, they do all the hunting. Yes. But guess what? When a female lions, a pride of, say four female lions, take down an animal. Yeah. Here comes 12 hyenas coming to take them, take the shit from them. Yeah. You know how bigger a lion is than a female lion? Yeah. All you need is one lion to protect the female lions. Once they go out, because I know the li female lions hunt, yeah. they got to maintain, they got to be able to eat the food once they hunt it. So the male lion actually protects them so they can eat. Mm. And male lions hunt too. That's but the awesome. point is, animals have enough common sense mm -hmm. to one, not get fat, and two, choose strong, protective providers. Yeah. But women, y'all literally do the opposite yeah. of what y'all are put on this earth to do. Y'all have fatherless babies and get fat. I agree. I agree. And well, it's sad and it's just a narrative that keeps perpetuating itself. I, I, I do perpetuate the fat narrative and um, it's really unfortunate. It's sad. All the technology, all the information that is available, it's just don't use it. You know, and like we want people just to accept us for who we are, but that's not necessarily what men want or the men that we want. That's not what they want. Keep that in mind. The men that you want, mm -hmm. you got to go in the gym and, and fix your stuff. Yeah. Go to the go to therapy and fix your stuff. But you don't want to do that. So you run back because a lot of y'all, and tell me if I'm wrong, you had a good man, a provider and protector, and he was so too good to be true. You either ran him off or you ran from him. True or false? Yeah. Why? Um, I got afraid. See? And um, like you said, like, 
I felt like I didn't have like these attributes that would Other keep up had. with that lifestyle mm -hmm. or that image that he had. And you and know, I'm at like, some oh, point, God. he's going to do what? Leave. Leave. Mm -hmm. At some point, this man is going to get sick of me being lazy. I'm not going to be able to keep up with him in some type of way. He's going to leave me. Women are left and right running around sabotaging good relationships because they have so many mental and emotional and physical issues where they can't sustain a good, positive, fruitful relationship. And guess what? It is unfair to us. Because guess what it makes us do? It He's actually makes it. us it makes us not want to be shit. <laughs> because it's like that's all y'all want is a dude. See, if I don't push you to, to grow, you ain't gonna leave. But now I'm yeah. hurt because I gotta deal with your lazy ass. So it's like either act like I ain't shit. So you can continue to not be shit or either keep staying out here and going through women instead of selling down. Because apex males have options. Yeah. And this ain't about, this ain't about weight. It's about emotions. Because some of these fine ass women bat shit crazy too. It's not, yeah, it's crazy. not even, we it's, crazy. It's, not, it's really not funny. It's not. Yeah. I'm serious. It's really not funny. It's really sad mm -hmm. how animals don't have to deal with no fat ass animals. Mm -hmm. Animals can just pair bond and go about their business. Mm -hmm. Female eagles literally have a mating strategy. I don't know if you was here yesterday, but the female eagle, when she sees a male eagle pursuing her, she goes and, and she drops something. Stick. Yeah, and she flies way up in a high altitude and she just drops the stick. Mm -hmm. And if the male eagle doesn't catch the stick with his mouth, he don't get on pussy. Mm. But y'all don't care about no sticks. Y'all don't care about no nothing. Because mm -hmm. either mentally or physically, you have so many inadequacies where all you do is give out pussy. Mm. Because you think that's all, that, that's the only thing that'll keep, keep a man. But you know he wants you to do better. He know he want you, you know what he wants. But yeah. you, know, you think if if you just like you said. If you keep doing and doing and doing and doing for him and then give him ass and ass and ass and ass, he may not leave. But then it gets to the point where you're just doing it to do it and not really connected right. to you like that. Mm -hmm. And right. it's going to mean nothing for him. It's just, okay, really. It's just enough. Oh, oh, she's still here. Yeah. Plenty of us, me too, be like, she ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I lost a good girl that I was just sleeping with she went and got married to somebody else. I was, I was heartbroken. I was like, damn, she actually went somewhere. We were sleeping together on and off for years. A dude went and married her, and I was like, I, I, I didn't know what to say. I was like, damn, it hurt, it hurt me. But I'm happy for her because I'm like, damn. And it made me say to myself, like, I just stayed not shit to her. And she just stayed, you know, not shit, not shit to me. But yeah. if I would have actually leveled her up, mm -hmm. she would have leveled up. Yeah. Or ran. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes we don't feel like being shit. Mm -hmm. 
Because in all honesty, when we ain't shit, we get more ass. Yeah. Yep, you hear it all the time. Women want that toxic D. Yeah. So sometimes us good men, we ain't shit to some women because sometimes it's annoying to be good men. Yeah. The sickest so finish in the last. Get with a woman and get all the ass, all the time, all whatever it is we want. But at the end of the day, we're still good, still good men. So it bothers us and we still want to find a wife. Yeah. But it's none but these goofball, fat, uh, screwed up ass women out here. It's true. You know? It's true. And it's, and, and, and it's sad because like I said, we're going to have sex. Yeah. And y'all be one. why y'all don't want to commit? Why y'all don't want to settle down? <laughs> With who? So we're just going to keep running through y'all until y'all get some goddamn um, uh, therapy. Because mm -hmm. none of us have a problem running through y'all. That's true. <laughs> But y'all want to know why don't these men want to commit to who? You don't want to commit to your damn self. Yeah. You don't want to commit to going to a goddamn gym. You don't want to commit to going to therapy every week. But you want a man to commit to you. And I'm not talking about you. I'm just talking about yeah. a typical black woman. And the shit is disgusting. But it's like I've heard so many times it's like nobody can check the black woman. Nobody can say anything to the black woman that will either make her take accountability or make her see or anything. It's just like it's so hard. What like, we need to do is stop all. having sex with y'all. Mm -hmm. Then y'all will get y'all shit together. That's that's the biggest problem. We having sex with women that aren't to our standards. Mm -hmm. If you don't get in the gym, if you don't get some therapy, you don't get no dick. Wow. That's a crash course. <laughs> Getting better. Cause that that's the that's the real that's the real thing that needs to happen. But guess what? You're gonna go to a loser man. Yeah. Cause you're always gonna be able to get sex. But they and really that, want commitment. And that is the sad thing. You won't you you don't want a commitment in all honesty, because like I said, you don't embody commitment. Mm -hmm. I want you to think about that. Why would a woman want commitment when she doesn't embody commitment? You can't commit to the things that you need to do, but you want mm -hmm. a man to commit to you. Why? That's fair. Do you know, there's a lot of reasons, but do you know why I do my, do my shows every day? To get your, through our skulls, what men want and to help us get better no. as females. No. No? No. no. I go to the gym every day, mm -hmm. virtually every day, and I do YouTube videos virtually every day because I lead by example. I want to show women that this is what commitment looks like. You know how many people, oh, you hate women. Eh, you're, nah, nah, nah. You're, you're, your mama was this and that. Your mama fat, all this other stupid stuff, right? I don't give a hey, shit. Dude. I'm coming back to goddamn tomorrow. I'm coming back the next day. I'm coming back the day after that. So this is an example of commitment. It's 1145. I can have a, some some broad in my in my bed. Bang it out. Yeah. But guess what? Yeah. I'm committed to y'all. Yeah. So I, as a leader, lead by example. I agree. I went to the gym today. I did a podcast today. No woman. I could. Mm -hmm. But I am committed to what I'm doing. 
and having random chicks in and out, that's cool. But that doesn't spell or 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 say commitment, right? Yeah, it doesn't. I'm not smashing these goofball, nutbag ass women because they don't deserve me. That is discipline. Yeah. Just like I'm not eating no goddamn fried food all the goddamn time. I'm not drinking no damn liquor. I'm not drinking no goddamn sodas. So it's not just women. It's sodas. It's fried foods. You get what I'm saying? So I embody commitment. But black women don't embody commitment. They embody laziness. And because black women embody laziness, that's the only type of men you attract. And the shit is sad. Yeah. I don't even make me want to go to the gym now. <laughs> oh, man. I never looked at it like that as far as, you know, like we could talk all we want, but like embodying it is just a different level, a different level of commitment and it's hard. It's hard to commit. It's hard to be disciplined. It's actually not. It's, it's no, not I'm hard. just saying that that's what people think. But well, if that's what people been... think, why, why, why are you saying it? Don't say it. It's not hard. So? Do you actually think it's hard for me to get on YouTube every day? No. Just I'm just saying. Be real. <laughs> Do you think it's hard for me to just hit the, the uh, start broadcast and, and talk shit and turn no. on the little lights? I don't think it's hard. Huh? No, I don't think it's hard. Do you think it'll be hard for you to start doing YouTube shows every day? I, I on my case, I think it's hard because I don't know what to talk about. So I, just, I don't get what do you're that. saying. But the reason why it's not hard for me is because I do it all the time. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's hard for me to go to the gym every day? Mm-hmm. Why? Because I do it every day. You do something every day, it isn't hard. So the only people that life is hard for are mm-hmm. people who aren't disciplined at life. You're right. There's a man that I seen on TikTok and he said, I hate when people say it's not that simple. Because it's actually the opposite of that. It is simple. And Mm. the woman's like, what do you mean? What is simple? It. And he said, so so you're saying just whatever it is? He said, yeah, simple. I said, people, well, he said, people complicate relationships, working out, whatever it is that they say they want to do. They think, they look at it as being complicated and hard to do so they can have an embedded excuse on why they can't keep doing the shit. It takes nothing to turn these little lights on, hit the damn broadcast button, and get on here and talk my shit. She also know nobody else doing this shit every day. Yeah. Same thing going to the damn gym. I go to the damn gym. How is going to the gym hard? It's not. It's not. I feel sorry for y'all. Because cause I don't want y'all. It's going to be one or two that don't be like, ooh, yes. But the majority of y'all, I don't want majority of y'all. Because y'all lazy as hell. Yeah. And hopefully nobody else is going to want you. Mm. Because they need to leave you alone just like I'm leaving y'all alone. Until you get your shit together. Until you get your ass in the gym. Until you stop eating all this bullshit. Until you get your ass some therapy. We ain't going to want you. But guess what? Y'all are familiar with not being wanted. So it doesn't even hurt. Because none of the men you, you had sex with in your life wanted you. Mm. 
95 of the men, 95% of all the men you've ever had sex with did not want you and you knew it. Only 5% of all the men you've ever had sex with actually wanted you. 95% of all the men you've ever slept with in your entire life did not want you and you knew they didn't want you. But it was 5% of them that really did want to be with you and all that other stuff. Wow. So y'all are so accustomed to not being wanted, it doesn't even hurt. That's why y'all lazy. Because the first thing you're going to think is, well, I go to the gym, I do all this, I lose some weight, I get some therapy. They still ain't going to want me. Mm -hmm. Because there's going to be some other reason. Yeah. So what's the use of doing all this? He's still going to do this. He's still going to cheat. He's going to do this. He's still going to leave you. That's because they keep looking for the same type of guy instead of actually there all the go. work that they have done. They expect but something better. If you work on yourself and do all these different things, you'll attract a different guy yeah. that will want you. Yeah. You I get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's really sad. It's really sad. It's really sad. And the majority of y'all run around saying you're a good... Well, I'm a good woman. Well, how? Do you know how you can judge whether you're a good woman or not, Stephanie? Um, How I treat myself. Huh? How I treat myself. How you treat yourself. That's one thing. Yeah. But there's another thing. Beauty is in the, in the eye of the beholder. So value is in the eye of the beholder also. Do you want a Lamborghini? Yes, I look like a Lamborghini. Okay. Do you know Lamborghini's uh, insurance is about $1,700 a month? Mm. It's a little bit too pricey for me. <laughs> Do you know it, it takes premium gas? Do you know you have to park the Lamborghini in a garage because if somebody dents the Lamborghini or whatever, mm -hmm. wow. the door, the dent on a door may cost about $17,000. No. So do you still want a Lamborghini? Do you think you can keep up a Lamborghini? No, I couldn't keep up a Lamborghini unless I got a better job or something that allowed me to have it, I guess. But if you got a better job, yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yes. So what I'm saying is you'll want a Lamborghini mm -hmm. if you had a better job. Mm -hmm. You'll want a good man mm -hmm. if you were a better woman. Mm -hmm. If you actually got in the gym, if you actually got therapy, if you actually got uh, a, a lot of the things that, that are messed up in your life, your family members, you set boundaries with your family members. Yeah. You would actually want a better man. Yeah. But in this state of being, you are with your job, where you are, you, you can't afford a Lamborghini. Yeah. You can't afford a good man. Yeah. And that is the thing. You can't afford a good man mm. the Lamborghini car note you can't maintain it you can't maintain the maintenance on a Lamborghini so therefore you don't choose a Lamborghini yeah you choose a little Honda and this is the reason why women choose loser men because they can't afford good men they can't afford the upkeep of themselves and they can't afford the upkeep of what the good man is going to require from her because you got to be consistent being with a good man why because he can he's consistent yeah if i'm on this goddamn shit every day mm -hmm. Do you think I'm gonna think uh worry about a, a woman that's lazy as hell at her job? No. No. If I go to the gym every damn day, don't mm -hmm. you think I'm expect my woman to go to the damn gym at least almost every day? Yep. 
I'm gonna interrupt you. Um, I really, I like this guy, and he has a very luxurious car that sits on the ground like a Lamborghini. Yeah. Now, I was in the same condition I am. I'm still wavy. It was hard to get in that car. Okay, so it's like even even that is like oh god, I can't even afford to get in this car because my body won't even allow me to get in there. So I'm like, well. I was waiting to get in the car or be that type of woman that he would want besides him in that type of vehicle. He already canceled me based on that. So. <laughs> but it is an upkeep. It's the upkeep. It's the maintenance. Yeah. The typical black woman can't maintain herself. Mm. The typical black woman can't commit to maintaining herself. But y'all want a man to commit to you and you can't commit to your own self? You want a man not to cheat on you, right? Y'all yeah. love to say, oh, all these men, all they're going to do is cheat on you. Don't you want a man to have dick discipline? Yeah. For, do y'all have food discipline? No. Do y'all have gym discipline? So why the hell do we have to have dick? Di we should we should all cheat on y'all. Because mm -hmm. y'all cheat on y'all selves. We're just doing to you what you're doing to you. Mm. We're inconsistent because your ass is inconsistent. Why yeah. the hell we got to be so damn good? Why we got to be the only we, uh, the only consistent, disciplined people? Why the hell we can't cheat? Why? I don't because understand. Because we don't want you to <laughs> try to control everything. You cheat on yourselves. Yeah. Show some food discipline. Mm -hmm. Show some gym, gym discipline. Mm -hmm. No. Y'all don't fair. deserve to not get cheated on. Fair. Wow. Straight up. Hold on, real quick. Uh, thank you, Aaron. Uh, thank you, Chris, for the uh super chat. And thank you, Freedom MMC, uh, for the well cash out for Chris and super chat. Uh, Freedom MMC says is likely um a cry for help. They self-destruct in order to get attention from a survivor um, bowl that never shows up. That never shows up, keyword. But I don't think it's a cry for help. I talked about um, self-mutilation yesterday yeah. also. Black women self-mutilate. <laughs> you want the roughest sex, you want the chokes, and you want to eat dumb shit and get fat. 80% of black women are fat. Do you actually think 80% of black women being fat is a mistake? Y'all want to get fat. Yeah. You don't see in your roles. You ain't being like, oh shit, I gotta change this. No. Yeah. You accept the roles. Yeah. We do. And point. like you said, and um point of the conversation that we have with the friends that will enable that behavior and say, All right, girl, you look good in that size two dress yeah. and every just everything just be hanging out and it don't look it's yeah. not appropriate. And we just think it's good. And then that's when the guys say, well, that's an easy target. Easy target. So the and fat girls usually like they get, get out the pussy. They get out the pussy. <laughs> yep. And it's so sad. It's so freaking sad. But like I said, animals aren't even this stupid. This shit is sad. So are you going to buy uh, my emotional attachment course? Yes. It's only $9.99. I'm not, I'm not here to take y'all money. It's only $9.99. Anybody on here, if this conversation helped you, one, drop a super chat. Two, drop a cash app. And if you don't want to do that, 
just spend ten dollars and buy my emotional attachment course that is linked in the chat. But do something. Hit the link in the chat. Buy mo my emotional attachment course. It's only nine ninety nine. Because we're, we're sick of y'all. <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's starting to get embarrassing. The passport, bro. Ooh, we're gonna, I'd be like, man, shut up, y'all. Sound y'all stupid. <laughs> but are they? I think they are. Yeah. Because there's plenty of women here. Mm -hmm. But damn, it's so hard picking through all these trash ass women. Mm -hmm. It's really hard. Yeah. It's just like dropping some money in a toilet full of shit. Just might as well flush it. No. No. You drop a hundred dollar bill in a toilet full of your full of your own shit, you're not gonna reach in there and get it. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> but what if you can't find it? You know it's in there, but you can't find it. How long are you gonna rummage through the shit? Because now the hundred dollar bill don't got brown, so you can't really find it. All, everything is just brown. How long are you gonna keep rummaging through all this sh dirty shit water? until you just give up on $100. But the $100 is in there. That's how it is dating our women. There's a valuable, amazing women somewhere in that toilet full of shit. But it's so annoying reaching in that nasty ass toilet full of shit trying to find that goddamn $100 bill. I can agree. And it's sad. Yeah. But, but Mr. Leco, I know you left. I know you're leaving, but like, why don't we see that it's such a problem for you guys instead of demonizing you and saying like, oh, you hate us, but we're like, no, we don't hate you. It's just all that poo. We have yeah. to keep touching and it's just like it's annoying, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like, like you said, it's sad. See, the thing about it is y'all aren't tired of touching y'all own shit. Y'all got all this blubber on the side and in and, and the belly. Y'all don't get tired of touching all this fat and shit. Y'all don't get tired of being argumentative at work and thinking everybody's against you instead of getting your ass some therapy. Y'all aren't tired of dealing with this childhood trauma that your mom presented on you. So y'all aren't tired of your own shit. And because of that, Y'all assume that we aren't. Mm. And I know men are trash too. It's, it's men out here that are stupid. You know, I know. But I don't date women. I mean, I don't date men, so I don't give a shit. <laughs> I, I, I ain't gonna say I do care about how men, you know, we need to step up or whatever, and I understand. But at the end of the day, if we all can just work on ourselves, like I said, I'm not Derek Jackson, but I do my best for me. Yeah. I come on here every day to show you all my personal level of discipline. To let y'all know that doing something every day, being disciplined every day, isn't hard. So if I, co I can go to the damn gym every day, y'all can go to the gym every day. Just do something positive every day. That's it. Just do something positive for your own good every day. Something. Sit-ups every day. Push-ups. E something every day. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. 
But <laughs> I'm about to go to bed because another thing <laughs> I try to make sure I do is get a good night's sleep. Need that sleep. Every night. You feel me? Yes. <laughs> so thank you so much, Stephanie, because um, it means so much for you to come up here. Because a lot of these women are like, uh, what is wrong with him? He, 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 you know, I love to have conversations with women instead of just yeah. me yelling at women or whatever, you know? <laughs> we, need, we need somebody to tap us. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to bring, somebody else said they want to come up and bring one more person up and take my ass to bed. <laughs> but I appreciate you coming up, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you so much. Good night. Good night. All right, y'all, if somebody wants to come up before I go to bed, because somebody said uh, Vera or somebody wants to come up. So that's the link to come up if somebody wants to come up. Y'all got to hurry because I'm going to go to sleep. So if anybody wants to come up, I just dropped the stream y'all link in the chat. I'm going to wait two minutes because I'm going to go to sleep. And make sure to hit the uh, cash app or super chat, or just simply buy my course that's linked in the chat. Give y'all a couple seconds to come up. It's not working for you. Of course, it's not working because you, you, you never mind. Of course, it's not working. Kicked it three. I, 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 yeah, I know you clicked it three times. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. You clicked it. You can't do it. I know. All right, y'all. I'm finna go. Y'all have a good. She says the link is. It's nothing wrong with the link. She just don't want to come up. But all right, y'all. Y'all have a good night. I'm finna go to bed.